know what, uh, what which movie news are we talking about. Are we talking about the Spider-Man shit? If so, fuck that noise. That sucks. There we go. Oh, I suppose the Matrix 4 as well, man. Uh, Matrix 4 starts shooting in 2020. Sony told Marvel a few over Spider-Man, so he's out of the MCU now, and Disney has been reported for faking income. You know, normal stuff. It's normal run of the mill crap. Right, who's hanging around the shrine? How big? How big are the baddies? Chilling by the shrine. Oh, so far it's a rat. I can handle that. Hello. I really think I went out walking in there. I feel like it's probably a bad plan. Ah, I'll poke my nose in there. Yeah. Casually walking in here. What's going on? Hi, I'd like to cut a few Hey, Papa Graysto coming with the 250 bits. Drop and run, real bad internet this morning. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you for the bits, though. Much appreciated. Hopefully, that sorts itself out at some point. You have come here for a reason. Hi. You may not know what it is. Shayo God and I have made a wager. Okay. He contends that solitude causes madness. While I maintain it allows for solace and meditation. To test this, I sent one of my priestesses to live alone on an island north of Davenfell. Alright. If she can live there for a hundred years, continuing her life of prayer, my theory will be proven. If not, Shayagor wins our wager. The time has almost passed, and she remains steadfast. Okay. If Shayagor has tried to sway the decision in his favor, travel there, rid the island of his minions, and bring back proof of his meddling. Do not disturb the wise woman, though, as that would void our wager. Serve me, and I will reward you well. Okay. All right, giant stone lady. Sounds good. Yep. Yep. It's totally normal fucking talking statues. I mean, what are you gonna do, right? Oh, gosh. Sharecraft would have something that priests make her mad 100%. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. That's a kind of a cool quest premise, though. Like, you have to go there and do some shit, but you have to not, like, disturb somebody while you do it. Sure, helping statues is part of the great plan. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. 100%. It's in there somewhere. It's in the fine print margins. Penciled in. Some fucking crayon or something, maybe. Yeah, it's a racer. So ominously coming out. It's like a freaking spaceship from Star Wars. Okay, so it's we're it's the farthest southeast, so it's like over here. It's gotta be over here somewhere. I gotta find a door. Looking for a door, looking for a door. God damn it, get away from me, fish. No. I hate you, fish. Hi, I like the cut of your 
Oh gosh, oh, oh my goodness. I'm getting beat to death by a fish. Murphy's busy freaking dropping massive bit donations. I, <laughs> you can thank Hyperkick for reminding me. Thousand bits. Freaking thousand bits. Can we get some Ulas for Murph and his insanity? Thank you, Murph. Appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Some Ulas for Hyper Gig as well. For baiting Murph. <laughs> to giving me a thousand bits. <laughs> okay. There we go. Jeez Louise. Hey. There we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Where is the door? Where is the door? I need to find some fellow to kill. Also, talking giant statue ladies are weird. I was not prepared for this. Gosh, stuck on the side of a freaking rock over here. I'm about to get brutally assaulted by like 10,000 fish. Almost oh, 100% positive. Oh, there we go. All right, fish. Where is he? Where is he, fish? Oh goodness gracious! Okay, so that's the. Where's that? That's holy Mayan. It's totally not what we're looking for. Okay, good. So that means we don't have to run back up over there or anything. Oh my gosh, why? <sighs> I fall into the water and I can't get out. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Rip me. It's all over. That's it. We live here now. Okay, we might be good. Maybe. I need a horse. Stat. I do miss questing against the most of your games. Yeah. If you're questing like this, you'd be falling in the water over and over again. Hey, uh, you appear to have a moon and a star. Can you, uh, can you help me out? It's apparently, uh, some kind of prophecy deal. Uh, I'm missing my ring. No? Okay. Think it works now? Hold on. Hold on. Find out. I'm a level one warrior. I see. <laughs> Got my name reserved. <laughs> Already. Should have made it a gnome. You should have. You should have. You you missed an opportunity, man. You missed an opportunity. <laughs> oh, this might be the place. Hey, we found it. That's the thing, honestly. Like, the directions are usually good enough to get you close enough that you can just walk around until, um, until you find the thing you're looking for. Like, I honestly, the only thing I've ever had trouble with was that one, trying to find that one dude. And I definitely would have found him eventually. I just, uh, I was remembering him in the wrong place. So if I had not known where he was at all, I might have actually had better luck finding him. Like, if I, if I wasn't even, like, re remembering like, way back ten years ago. <laughs> I may have actually had better luck finding him. Um, but, like, the directions get you close enough that you can usually find it with a little bit of walking around. Which I think is more interesting than just having a quest marker in most cases. Like, there's a way to do it right and a way to do it wrong. Though obviously, the way to do it wrong is just kind of, like, be so freaking vague that you're just going to spend so much time wandering around, you're going to get frustrated. Like, how much wandering around did I do? Maybe, like, 
10 minutes. And I went to the Shrine of Azura while I was here and stuff like that too, because... And I wandered into a, a freaking Daedra and crap also, because I was looking for this place. You know, it was just a bunch of, like, emergent gameplay shit, essentially. So. There are ways to do it right and ways to do it wrong. Some games get way too, like, into the, like... Oh, you gotta find it. Whoa. It's like, no, just give me some basic directions. Give me a landmark. Say it's close to blah in this region, along this area, you know, and then potentially put some NPCs around that you can talk to once you get closer that gives you more sp specific instructions. And there you go. You don't need to have a quest marker. And you get, and it's still fun. The problem is when you say west and it's really far and actually slightly northwest and there's no landmarks given. It, yeah, yeah. Like, there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it, obviously. Like, this one, what did it say? Um, told me, former knight Aaron of the Order, Ebonheart has been made pact with the data worshippers of RNB, which is the far southeastern shores of the Azure Coast near the Shrine of Azura. Like, that's pretty specific, honestly. Without just outright being like, it's right there. <laughs> it's over for you! Is it? Don't think so. Cruel flame knife. Value 35. Alright, well, I'm not picking that shit up. <laughs> That's pretty trash. <laughs> it's over! <laughs> <laughs> That's a flame archonaut. Shh. Really real quick. And the mace of sucky. And it'll smack off that head. Whoopa! Can't see me! Can't see me! My ghost! My ghost! Stabbing you with a freaking mace! Got him. And a storm arch, arch match. Well, this guy is. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Summon a frost arch match. And thankfully, I killed him fast enough that it did murder my face off. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Not getting my face murdered off, mostly. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> Get him. Thankfully, Archernatch is a really, really, like, blind. I mean, I guess it comes from being a giant elemental thing, but, you know. You can sneak up on him fairly easily. Hang on a second. Where is, where is this link? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, there's another guy. Chance kill with Love Light. Is this the guy we're looking for? I think this might be the guy that we need to kill. Haunt the Oath. Yeah, this might be him. Sure is. Don't mind.
behind me. Just gonna. This is fighting. Okay. Now this is fighting. He says as his fucking face gets concaved. <laughs> Grabbing here. Oh, rip that guy. Ooh, do I actually have the skill to open this box? Next, the next question on the list. Now oh, this is pod racing. Lock is too complex. Can I do it with a higher tier lock pick? I sure can try. Fail masterfully. Oh my gosh, I got it. Key to ancient chest. Alright, well that might be worth my time. What's in the ancient chest? What's in the box? Steel spear. What's the book about? Sithis. Says this is the start of the house. Before him was nothing, but the foolish Altmer have names for and re revere this nothing. That is because they are lazy slaves, indeed. From the sermon stasis as as merely for itself, which is nothing. Sithis sundered the nothing and mutated the parts, fashioning from them a myriad of possibilities. These ideas ebbed and flowed and faded away, and this is how it should have been. One idea, however, became jealous and did not want to die, like the stasis he, want, he wanted to last. This was the demon Onael, who made friends, and they called themselves the Aedra. They enslaved everything that Sithis had made and created realms of everlasting imperfection. Thus are the Aedra the false gods. That is illusion. So Sithis began Lor Lorcan and sent him to destroy the universe. Lorcan, unstable mutant. Lorcan had found the, the Adric weakness. While each rebel was by their nature immeasurable, they were through jealousy and vanity also separate from each other. They were also unwilling to go back to the nothing of before. So while they ruled their false dominions, Lorcan filled the void with a myriad of new ideas. These ideas were legion. Soon it seemed that Lorcan had a dominion of his own with slaves and everlasting imperfections, and he seemed for all the world like an Aedra. Thus did he present himself as such to the, to, to the demon Uniel and the eight givers as a friend. Go unto Sharmat Dagoth Ur as a friend. Um, yeah, so that's basically talking about how Sithis tricked the Aedra into, or he created a, a guy to go, demon to go, and, um, trick the Aedra into creating the world, essentially. He read that aggressively is kind of hot. He's talking about Sithis. Of course I had to read it aggressively. <laughs> I mean, I'd be doing Sithis a dis disservice if I was to uh, read it in a calm manner. <laughs> ah, I'm out of freaking casting power. God damn it. Alright, well, maybe I... Maybe I can still sneak up on this frickin' frickin' guy? We'll see, I guess. There should be a- yep, yeah, I was gonna say, there should be an Archonach in here. Ah! 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 Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Oh my gosh. Ah! Keep staggering him, keep staggering him. Ah! Please! to get the bigger hammer. There is no escape! 
good. Okay, what do we got? Ten chest. Twenty chest. Low quality chest. Get all these ingredients. Go. They got nothing on it, of course. Uh, lock. 20 to 80. Paralyzed for 8 seconds. That was, I guess. Game at dinner. Jeep. Jeebus! Summon Frost Arc. Arch back. Summon skeleton. Right, well, I got a couple summon scrolls that could potentially be very useful. Really? That's not the ancient chest that they have a key for? They're crap. Alright, well, time to get all our lockpicks. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. That was a very good die roll. <laughs> hey, security increased. What does she ask? There's this freaking ancient chest, I wonder. My master. You have my master work lockpick. I can't get that open. I have many probes. Oh, maybe it's that way. Oh, wait, no, wait, that's, that's where I came from. I feel like I've been, I feel like I've been had. Here I've got this, I've got this key to some ancient chest. It ain't this one. Oh shit, what's this? Trapped, whatever it is. Just gonna, just gonna probe this real quick. Ben probe has been used up. All right, journeyman probe time. Hey, we got it. All right, now do I, now do I actually have the capability of unlocking this box? Too complex. What about with the masterwork? Yes, but I'm gonna have to succeed soon because I'm about to burn out this pig. Damn. Do I have any other, other cool picks? Got a master's probe, but doesn't really help me. Um, I suppose I could try to cast my my open door. What is my alteration, anyways? It's something absolutely abysmal. Your lockpicking sucks. It's level eight, so yeah, it sure do. Um. Alteration is, what, level 6? So I'm pretty sure that magic works is basically like a 1 to 1. It's like level 6 or level 7. That's destruction, yeah. Percent wise, so basically to cast this alteration spell, I have a 6% chance. Ugh, excuse me, provided I'm not also, like, fatigued. Should have rolled a rogue. Right. Shit. Supposed to check out this water real quick. Ow. Sure there's not an ancient chest down here. Check over here as well. There is a fish over here, so there's a bunch of fish over here. Ah, my ankles! Alright, I need to get Vivian back out. Oh. 
die, you. Stop freaking out, fish. Oh, geez, there's another one. There's another two of them. All right, I'm going to go play some football manager before I leave work. Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right, Murph, have a good one. Thank you again for the bits. Scuffed up here. If I can rest here. Oh yeah, I can. Cool. Nice. Useful. Fit me in again. And there's gotta be a freaking ancient chest around here somewhere. Like, why give me a key to an ancient chest when there's literally not an ancient chest around here? I bet you thought there was an ancient chest. Joke's on you, sucker. <laughs> All we got down here are slaughterfish. Alright, well. Unless there's one up here that I missed. Blocky was had, indeed. So now we need to get back over to Ebonheart. Which means we gotta go back up here, I think. To the Wolverine Hall. I don't think there's any... Could do, like, a... Intervention scroll, but I feel like that'd be kind of a waste. to have intervention as a spell. Unfortunately, I think intervention is also a school of magic I have basically nothing in. What school of magic do I have something in? Mysticism, that's what it is. Um, focus otherworldly forces to bind souls of gems, teleport the caster's body, or manipulate the world with telekinesis. Oh, well, okay, so mysticism does teleportation. Alright, so I should get some marks and recall spells. Um... I need to get... At some point I need to get a freaking uh, soul bind spell also. So I can start charging my soul gems. Take that, you. Oh, it's one I killed already. <laughs> Try not to walk into walk into any lesser daedra now, shall we? What level am I now? Uh, 16. Oh, 17 actually. I'm getting pretty close. What are we doing on? Spears getting close. Blunt weapon. It's at 57 now. Spears at 71. My light arm is at 54. That's about to go up as well. Alchemy's at 38. Bloodex. Bloodex is about to bounce up too. My unarmored slowly climbing because I don't have freaking shoes on or gloves. <laughs> it's 
sending you soccer manager invites. What, did I just aggro? Oh, I, I aggroed a rat. Okay, that's fine. I was near a ruin, so I got really concerned that I aggroed some something nasty. Like that guy. Fuck that guy. I'm just gonna walk around him. We really need to get some better magic weapons at some point so we can actually fight these guys. Because if I had like a magic spear. I think I could take on some of these lesser Daedra. But, obviously with, uh... No good weapons. Kind of makes things difficult. Oh, I got his freaking Crappy Mace the Bonker over here. Try to beat down a lesser danger with. Doesn't work very well. Just saying. Ah! Clap! Spear went up. Dope. Alright, that puts us at. Two more until a level. Heck yeah. Which I'm doing lots of running, so I might get another athletics level here. Oh, jeez. Calm down there, rat. Chill the fuck out. definitely been through here considering it's a camp with nobody there and by nobody I mean uh, just a couple of corpses just hanging out that being said most of the problems I've had today have been caused by corpses so never discount a corpse I'm just uh, gonna stab a rat with a hammer real quick Take that, you! <laughs> Get him! Take him out! I'd honestly be having a lot more problems with rats if I wasn't a, uh, a lizard boy. Because rats tend to carry disease. Thankfully, I am mostly immune to disease. balls. What is... Oh, it's crab. <laughs> All the freaking danger music as the crab slowly scuttles towards you. Gotta look the crab out. The crab gonna get you. Get over there, you're freaking dead. I already killed that one, apparently. Ow. Trying to hit fish. There we go. <laughs> Princess of the Minecraft, look at the you snap over your legs. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> if, I, if I ran into a mud crab in real life, I'd be fucking horrified. <laughs> like, I would not want to mess around with a freaking mud crab in real life. 
I'm like, nope, not doing it. You got like oh, pincers that are literally like the size of your freaking arm. Get out of here. Slaughtery fish. Here we go, whiffing again. Making our way back. Did okay, right? Definitely murdered the guy that we needed to murder. So, just go and uh, let my patron know. Fellow has been slaughtered. He went down saying, Now this is real fighting. So I smashed it upside the head. Jokester to the end. I could get to Evan Hart from, from the docks here. Kind of curious. Might save me a little bit of walking, potentially. Or at least to get to Vivek. So that way I wouldn't have to teleport back to Balmora and then Stilt Strider out to Vivek. We could just get a boat there. We'll see. So much walking. Hello. Make it quick, our guardian. Guys in your cool, your cool dude pauldrons. I'm pretty jealous of those guys' pauldrons, honestly. Wish I could have pauldrons like that. Rid of my cool guy pauldrons. Look at this crap. Quickly, right. Outlander. I haven't much time. Uh, Evanhart. Nice. We can go right there. Sweet. No muss, no fuss. <laughs> I will walk 500 miles and I will walk 500 more. To be the skink that walked a thousand miles to. Uh. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this. I, I tried to think of a bunch of things that rhymed and I failed. So. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stop right there. I think it's 500. Yeah, because it's. I'd walk 500 miles, I'd walk 500 more it's to be the man that would walk 1,000 miles to fall down at your door. It's like the actual lyrics, I believe. What in the name of crap are we doing? What is even happening over here? Alright. Hi. So I killed the guy. I, I hit him over the head with a hammer. Big hammer. Small head. Uh, where is it? Oh, the white. No, that's you. Forts. Courtesy background. Distant priests. Elsewhere. What do you have to say about that? The Khajiit of the southern elsewhere jungles and river basins are settled city dwellers of ancient mercantile traditions and a stable agrarian aristocracy based on, or aristocracy, based on sugarcane and salt rice plantations. The nomadic tribal Khajiit of the dry northern wastes 
and grasslands are, by contrast, aggressive and territorial tribal raiders, periodically united under tribal warlords, while the settled south has been quick to adopt imperial ways the northern nomadic tribes cling to their warlike barbarian traditions. I see. Find a Okay, there we go. So Hothergulf is dead. So it is sad when someone betrays the Legion. Can't allow traitors to live. Okay. Oh, he's dead. I killed him. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking door jam. You're a good soldier, Argonian. I am proud to give you the rank of Knight Protector. These pauldrons and boots. Thank you. Cannot give you advancement anymore. Talk to the Knight of the Imperial Dragon of Varus Ventinius of in Evanhart. I think we only have like a couple of quests left in the Legion now at this point. And Ordinator is spreading lies about the Order of Evanhart. Stop Surian Athona's slanders. Slander? The sliders are being spread by Surian Athonas, an ordinator at the Justice Offices in Vivek. Find him and silence his lying mouth with blood. Okay. <laughs> well then. Meanwhile, I'll be here blocking the door. Not even gonna, we're not even going to pretend to be subtle about this. Find an ordinator and bash him over the head until he stops talking. Hey, hat friend. I mean, your sense of style is just amazing. I, 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 I'm just in awe of you. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Okay. Let's go to Vivek. Let's go to Amora. Yeah, right? Let's see how we can get away with this one. I'm pretty sure bashing an ordinator over the head in the Hall of Justice is probably not the best plan for me. And just another man of culture, right? No kidding. Hey, athletics. Been close to leveling anything else. Spear, light armor. Light armor's pretty close. I suppose I could just let this guy hit me a few times. Hopefully I won't die. Hey. Punch me. Ow. Ow. Oh, I guess I got some, get some block levels as well. Ow. Ow. Why so vicious, friend? There we go. Standing in a field, letting somebody freaking beat the shit out of you. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm training. Ow. That strength. Uh, an Agi up. And Endurance seems like a good plan. Alright, level 17. Nice, we have 104 hit points. Hell yeah, now we're talking. And we can carry almost 400 pounds. Or, no, sorry. 400 weight units. Sorry. I don't think anywhere does it actually state that it's pounds. I think it's just weight units. Yeah. Weight. Three. Three what? Yeah, this feels like it weighs exactly three. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Alright. 
Fair about crap. So is, so is what I taught. Oh my gosh. Javis. Some kind of freaking low tier god crab. Whenever I taunt an opponent, immediately I just. My die rolls go to shit. <laughs> the game knows. It's like, nah, we're not gonna let you get away with that. I'll, how dare you taunt. Yeah, right? That crab was. That crab was on point. Kind of feel bad killing him, actually. You fought well, Mr. Crab. Damn it. Ordinator, get him! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's not try killing this random ordinators. There is an ordinator that we have to kill, but let's not kill a random one, shall we? Feel, Mr. Krabs. You know it. You know it. Hey there, Mr. Vivek. All right. Well, normally. I would go back to Belmora, but the the next quest is like right in this city, so we're just gonna we're just gonna save here, and I think that's gonna be it for the night. Ugh, I'm freaking tired, man. It's tired when I started. <laughs> well, it was a fun night. It was a fun night. We really got some good stuff done in, in Warhammer, despite me being a bit silly. And, uh, got some good questing done in, uh, Morrowind as well. We got, uh, got a quest from Azura also that we'll probably, we'll try to do that tomorrow, maybe. We'll, just, we'll see what we can figure out with this ordinator, and then we might do the Azura quest as well tomorrow. And maybe we'll look back towards doing, um, maybe look back towards doing, like, main quest stuff after that. This is a bunch of main quest stuff we need to do yet. So we gotta run all around the frickin' Ashland, if I remember correctly. Talk to, like, a whole bunch of different people. We have a good amount of gold, though, which is good, because the Ashlanders usually need, uh... Need a decent amount of gold to make them... Like, not hate you. <laughs> so. I'll have to deal with that as well. Oh, I still have this stupid shirt on. This chainmail shirt. Alright. But that's going to be it for the night. 